Once it's complete, the Orion will be the most advanced spacecraft ever designed to carry astronauts deeper into space. Today, engineers at NASA Langley tested to make sure the crew and the capsule return safely to Earth. On your side's Art Khan was there. Art, we saw a little bit of the video, cool video, of it splashing down, but it's more than just cool looking. Yeah, well, you know, engineers call it the hydro impact basin, but it looks a little bit like a swimming pool, I'll tell you <laughs> that. You know, um, you see, the Orion space capsule will splash down into the ocean when it returns to Earth, just like the Apollo capsules did. The impact basin at NASA Langley gives engineers a chance to see how well the capsule will perform at splashdown and provide designers with critical data to ensure a successful end to an historic mission. This is how the Orion will return to Earth, but these tests also provide engineers with crucial data for constructing computer models that will help engineers design a vehicle better suited for space travel. So that we can analytically determine what types of structures we need and make them lighter and more efficient, therefore lightening the vehicles to make it easier to get to space. They have to go up and unplug the power. The test will be photographed and analyzed from every angle to make sure the capsule's design is suitable for a successful splashdown when Orion returns to Earth. We'll be measuring the uh, acceleration, um, the pressure on the uh, skin, on the heat shield, as well as deflections of the heat shield. In particular, the load path information, when the, when the capsule hits the water, what happens to that load? And how do you counteract that with efficient structures? Tests like this also incorporate lessons learned from previous space flights. In Apollo program, they found that if you, if you impact the ocean at a 28 degree, that will minimize the G's. In fact, the parachutes used to slow the capsule before splashdown are rigged to keep it at this angle. In addition to the critical data this will provide for engineers working on the Orion program, tests like this also serve another valuable purpose. It solidifies NASA Langley's role in future manned space flights. Absolutely. I mean, we're doing things here that can't be done anywhere else. Soon they will be testing the actual Orion capsule. You know, for almost 40 years, the landing and impact research facility had only been used for conducting full-scale tests of landings on hard surfaces, including tests for Apollo's lunar module. By the way, the late Neil Armstrong trained there. Art Khan, 10 on your side.